ExxonMobil produces just under 5 million barrels a day, basically started mucking around with something called propping dial back. Hydraulic fracturing or fracking was basically how the United States produces 80% of its crude oil these days, as well as the vast majority of its natural gas. It's not a fringe technology, it's the backbone. What you do is you drill down vertically and then you make a horizontal split that goes two, three, four, maybe even five miles, and then you inject water that is laced with sand. Then you stop the pumping, and because those tiny pockets of petroleum have now been exposed, they produce a back pressure that pushes the water out, but the sand stays lodged in the cracks, keeping them open so the flow can continue. The sand is called propent, and it's one of the biggest expenses in a fracking operation. What ExxonMobil has now done is changed the propent and is triggering what is basically the fourth shale revolution. First shale revolution is when we figured out how to do this and brought out natural gas. The second shale revolution is when we figured out how to do this to bring out liquid oils. Third is when we built the infrastructure, things like LNG facilities or chemical facilities or refineries to metabolize all this raw product that we're now producing. Fourth revolution is taking the capital and the technological skill sets of the majors like Exxon and applying them for a whole new generation of technology. See, one of the weird things about the shale revolution is when it started, most of the super majors had kind of written off the American oil patch, and we had seen oil output from the United States drop to historical lows. What that meant is we had small mom and pops that were doing everything, and they were trying everything they could come up with in order to get incremental increases, and that's what generated the first few million barrels a day. Well, as time went on, oil does what oil does, and it rises and it falls and it rises and falls, and so we got a series of busts, and ExxonMobil was able to come in with its better capital position and buy up a lot of the smaller companies, to the point that it and Chevron now dominate the space and collectively produce almost 9 million barrels a day. Now, you apply what Exxon has across its entire value chain, and you get a very different proposition. So for propent specifically, they went into their refineries and they found waste products, something called petroleum coke, and they were able to manufacture that into a kind of a synthetic sand, if you will. The propent is where a lot of experiment has been going on in a lot of subsectors for the last several years, and you've got some pretty expensive stuff that's ceramics. Petroleum coke is cheaper than that, more expensive than sand. But the real advantage is it has that it's a lot less dense, maybe 40-50% less dense than sand, which means you can suspend it in the water better, which means it pushes into the formation better, which means it holds open cracks deeper in the formation. For a small increase in cost using what used to be a waste product, Exxon has seen their numbers increase by 10 to 20 to maybe even 30% in some wells.